Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Let's see how easy it is to create a cinemagraph in Photoshop. When you open a video clip, Photoshop automatically shows the timeline panel and puts your video clip inside of a group. As I tap the space bar, we can watch the video play. However, I only want to show a portion of the waterfall in motion. I'll use the current time indicator to return to the beginning of the clip. And to create a still image to place over the top of the video, I'll choose Select All and choose Edit and then Copy. To paste the still image above the video group, I'll close the group and then use Edit and Paste. In the timeline, I'll make the still image the same length as the video and add a mask in the Layers panel. I'll tap the B key to select the brush and painting with black, I'll paint in the mask in the area that I want the video to appear below the still image. Now, as I tap the space bar, we can watch as the video plays underneath the still image. If we want to move the mask over time, I'll switch to the second image where I've already created a mask. I'll tap the backslash key in order to reveal that and unlink it from the layer on the layers panel. In the timeline, I'm at the beginning of the clip and I've used the disclosure triangle to show the layer mask position. I'll click the keyframe to add a keyframe. Making sure that the layer mask is targeted, I'll reposition the mask to the left side of the image. Then, using the timeline, I'll move forward in time and using the move tool, reposition the mask over to the right side of the image. However, this area is now all white so I'll need to use the Marquee tool to select it and then use Edit and Fill to fill it with black. I'll use Command D to deselect. As we scrub through the timeline, we can see the movement of the mask. I'll tap the backslash to hide the mask and then tap the spacebar to preview the results. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.